Hello YouTube, so um, I will be doing a 200 subscriber special. Thank you all for the support. And I will be doing a native carnivorous plant hunt for you guys. So stay tuned. I never seen any native carnivorous plants, so I'm quite excited. So I'm still not sure if I'll find any, but we'll find out. So uh, right now it's nighttime and we'll leave tomorrow morning. I'm going to look for native carnivorous plants. And I'm currently in Alberta and I'll be going to British Columbia and look for some kind of plant and I'll be filming my adventure. So tomorrow morning I'll set off on my adventure to let's be see and find some native carnivorous plants. So I have pretty high hopes so see you in the morning. Okay so we arrived at our location first location so um, this, sorry my camera's kind of shaky. There's two species of sundews right here and multiple species of sphagnum. Let's get to the sundew species. So we have the common round leaf sundew, Drosia rotundifolia. And also have the English sundew, um, Lin, um, what's it called, Drosia angelica. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. There's a lot along these floating logs all along here, growing on the mosses. There's more in there and there's, they're everywhere. So I'm quite excited to see these in the wild. Might post some of these pictures in the Carnivorous Plant Society of Canada. So that'll give you a slightly better look at some of the sundews. There's there's a rotundifolia growing on a log. There's a linear, no, not linear, it's why I keep on saying inland. There's a um, angelica. And hopefully we can find more carnivorous plant as we walk around all this area. I'm looking for hoping for utricularias in that pond and some butterworts. So I'll update you if you find any new species. Hey, look what I discovered. So in, this is uh, one of the floating logs I'm at right now. And there's like a million sundew species, sundew growing on here. And look at what I discovered. Um, I'm not sure if you can focus, but right there, it actually caught a damselfly and it is a massive creature so a sundew catching a damselfly is pretty impressive I'll look around and see if we can find any pinguiculas so last time we were at the sundew place sorry my camera is kind of like broken so like don't mind um, last time we were at the sundew place and did find sundew and now we are at a uh, utricularia place my utricularia location i'll show you some um utricularias look it they are all growing in this pond so i'll pick one up for a close-up um let's see if you can find one all right there we go oh there was a frog that was just a frog. I'm not sure. But if you look right here, you can see the bladders. The clear bladders. This is Neutricularia macrochiza. So pretty cool. I want to catch that frog. Don't know where did it go. So I'll keep on updating. I also seen Neutricularia minor. Also seen intermedia. What is this? Let's see. Yeah, I'll keep on updating you if I see more species of Utricularia. So I found Macrochiza, the big red bladder. And also found the uh, um, flat leaf bladderwort, Intermedia. You can see that they have very nice big bladders. And here's the leaves. Here's the whole plant. I'll just put this back in the water. I also found Minor and see if it can show you another picture and here's the type of environment that they sort of live in so like a pondy place yeah let's keep them going so we're at this location where you can see the little um, stream and the stream follows there and what I found here is a butterworth Penguicula vulgaris um, seems like the flower already flowered and just we'll look around see if we can find more butterworts 
And you can see sort of to see the dewy drops on it. Yeah, very nice find. Hello, YouTube. So I'll, I just found a butterwort in this little stream. It's a good, too good sign to find if it's carnivorous plant friendly or not. Look at the water. If it's really clear, um, probably some kind of response. Butterworts really are known, especially a temperate butterworts are known to glow, grow along streams. And they are, yeah, as you know, kind of response oh, needs very, um, what's it called, wet location, also very pure water. So here we go. So where's the plant? Here is the butterwort. So this one in species is Pinguicula vulgarius. 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 I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Well, here you go. So I'm gonna walk inland more and see if we can find more. Butterworts were quite rare, but and then I saw this, and I don't think so. This place has like freaking a million butterworts. Um, let's look along here. There's like a million in here, if you can see it, some right here, and a lot more over there. So we'll keep on moving, see what we can find. So I'm back again from the trip, and we did find a lot of native carnivorous plants. And yeah, this is Utricularia piscomata. So that was tons of fun. I never knew I could find them. I actually just uh, went on satellite and looked at random um, possible locations and I just went there and did find them. So in clu 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 conclusion, I found six species of native carnivorous plant, Utricularia macroriza, Utricularia intermedia, Utricularia minor, also two sundews, Drosera rotundifolia, Drosera angelica, also one butterwort, um, Pinguicula vulgarius. So that was tons of fun. So hope you enjoy the 200 subs special.